I spent a good time in uh, R&D, like around one and a half years, and there I got to learn much about the technical part of the the production. But uh, I always had this thing that I want to learn more. I want to uh, understand the commercial part as well. So, like these roles, like be it analyst role and uh, the the business development role, it uh, made me, you know, in, uh, expand my horizon of learning. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Conversations Cafe Online. In this particular series of Conversations Cafe, our focus has shifted from management grads to that of engineers. Those who have joined a conglomerate like Aditya Birla Group right after their college. Today in this episode, I have with me Anush Mathur who has a degree in fiber and textile processing from ICT something that is all too relevant for the fiber business of ABC. We will talk about his journey, how he made it to this position that he is uh, in right now and what you can learn from his particular journey. Hi Anuj, happy to host you. Hi Paul. All right, uh, Anuj, let's get back to your engineering days. Uh, you know, you have a bachelor's degree in fiber and textile processing technology. Tell us a little bit about what exactly happens in this degree and uh, how did ABG come into picture for you? Fibers and textile processing technology is a branch, something which uh, deals with the, you know, fiber manufacturing and uh, the various textile processing uh, techniques which are being done in industries widely. So this branch deals with, you know, learning about the various uh, fibers which are being available for textiles, the various techniques, various manufacturing uh, techniques, how fibers are being uh, made. If I'll tell you in general, there are basically two types of fiber. One is natural and another is synthetic. So natural includes your cotton, jute, wool, these types of uh, fiber. And uh, how these fibers are the, being taken, uh, how these uh, fibers are being then used uh, in textiles. So this is the this is the branch which de- which talks about uh, the whole uh, value chain of textile, and uh, it was a good experience uh, learning in uh, Institute of Chemical Technology. So I'll tell you how I met uh, around with ABG. It was during our eighth semester, uh, during the month of January. Usually when companies come to our campuses for hiring, it was during that time I came across with the ABG, and uh, uh, ABG had a the selection process was uh, in three stages basically. Uh, first was your psychometric test, then followed by your group discussion and then after that final interview was being done. Uh, after final interview, uh, I was being selected to be a part of this engineering leadership program. Uh, uh, from from there, I started by my journey with ABG in 2017. Right. Uh, when you say uh, fiber and textile processing technology, how much of the technology is involved in this process? Do you deal with machines? in and out, what is the kind of work that you need to carry out right now and uh, you know how much of that learning is becoming helpful for you? So yes, uh, as I said, like uh, textile uh, is a very vast industry which involves a lot of manpower, a lot of machineries, very advanced technology, I, I should say, very advanced machineries, very advanced upgraded like from if you compare it with the 1950s textile industry to and compare it with the today's, like everything is so advanced, everything is automated, we always keep hearing from our seniors like what were the earlier uh, practices which were being done and how it has like advanced into like uh, today world everything is automated so uh, anuj you mentioned about your uh, seniors and how they used to tell you that how the machinery was and the kind of work that you are doing is completely different now uh, and i think something of this sort was happening in uh, 2017 also when you were part of the elp program you know where you worked in the R&D wing, what exactly happens uh, in an R&D wing for uh, an ICT graduate like you who goes to you know explore this particular industry better? And what were some of the learnings that you took out from there? So, as I said, when I was being hired uh, in July 2017, I was deputed to the R&D unit in Karaj. It is a pilot plant, a miniature version of whatever the production plant does. So, uh, there I was responsible, uh, like you were responsible for uh, new product development part uh, taking trials uh, in the in the general process, whatever is done, new application development, like how we can uh, uh, you know improve the quality of fiber, how we can uh, you know be based uh, uh, just uh, just to cater to the customers because uh, 
as we are evolving customers are also evolving now we are running into third generation of fiber the first one was viscose the viscose uh, got uh, you know improved and there were some uh, of the process uh, parameters which were being uh, changed and uh, the new version of fiber modal the which we call second generation fiber it was being made as per customer demand as per as the requirement from customers now uh, we are into the third generation of fiber excel fiber it is uh, again a improved version from this course so to cater the market demand to cater the customers demand we have been always evolving right from start and from uh, there uh, you know you next took up a role of business analyst uh, within grassim i think uh, they are pretty connected to each other it could be better if you can explain it a bit better as to how they are connected uh, and i took up a couple of business development executive role uh, how was this transition for you was it like a smooth one or did you have to learn a lot of new things uh, how was it i spent a good time in uh, r&d like around one and a half years and there i got to learn much about the technical part of the the production but uh, i always had this thing that i want to learn more i want to uh, understand the commercial part as well so there were some things which in my in my mind that i wanted to learn so like these roles like be it analyst role and uh, the the business development role it uh, made me you know in, uh, expand my horizon of learning i would say so whatever i learned in my plant i could relate to the commercial part as well in business analyst role as i would say uh, i learned about more of uh, you know what are the consumption ratios of plant what are the because these these things will drive your production these things uh, we never knew in plant so this transition was i would i would not say it was uh, very easy for me uh, it was uh, you know a quite a challenge but then definitely my managers played a very important role uh, to you know Uh, make me familiarize with the things whatever they are doing in uh, the commercial part in the in, in analyst part so uh, being a deputy manager now uh, anuj you working at uh, vadoda where you are currently uh, sitting right now having this conversation with me uh, where you are handling production you are handling planning you are handling control there's a lot of responsibility that is uh, being given to you at this juncture tell us a bit about you know how your day uh, how your day goes uh, recently one month back i got transferred to baroda uh, uh, you know where i handle uh, the production planning and control for chemicals and uh, like like the basic role of uh, my is to uh, make the material available to our sales team by you know uh, managing uh, the production in our plants so uh, in general i have to you know like a day starts with taking a taking the status of the inventory taking the status of the stock and uh, then uh, uh, analyzing like what are the available stocks for today how, what what how can we plan in a better way uh, if there are some uh, some products with some uh, quality which is needed by sales team and we are uh, in short of this then i have to coordinate with the plant uh, production heads i have to tell them that this is the market demand because market demand keeps on changing uh, today is there is some requirement for uh, one product uh, that doesn't mean that uh, that uh, tomorrow will be the same requirement for that product so it is a, it is also a challenge that i keeps on engaging with the plant production heads and uh, talking to them about the market and uh, accordingly taking the production to make it available for the sales i know you you know you have come a long way from uh, your journey you know back in 2017 when you joined in as a elp fresh new out of graduate a uh, student uh, you know not knowing much about how a corporate corporate set uh, set up works or a conglomerate like apg works from there to here uh, you know how would you define the learning that has happened uh, within the realm of apg and what exactly do you think uh, yourself doing next from here i would say uh, like right from start uh, 2017 when i started i've been uh, keep on getting so many other exposures uh, which has helped me to you know uh, uh, understand uh, this whole business uh, whatever we are doing in pulp and fiber in a very very uh, good uh, and a better way so all these exposures have made me you know whatever i am today and uh, i definitely one thing i which i have realized is like uh, all these transition uh, i have got this confidence that there is you know nothing uh, which i cannot do there are uh, some hindrances there are some uh, sometimes which uh, the roles sometimes are challenging but it takes time and uh, with the help of our managers 
the everything can be managed and done and as i go along i want to you know be and uh, be useful and be uh, doing positive uh, things for our organization whatever the organization needs right anuj uh, any final advice for uh, students uh, you know like you when you were in your college uh, in ict trying to get into abg and make it big in your life any advice for those students only advice i would uh, give is you know be proactive in whatever roles you are being assigned keep learning and uh, stay positive that is the only message right keep learning and stay positive and that's what anuj leaves us with thank you very much anuj for your insights today if you want to ask anuj questions and if you want to be part of this entire uh, activity that do uh, consider uh, registering yourself for the conversations cafe event that is going to happen soon uh, where you know, so oh, people like anuj who are part of the system are going to be there taking your questions and giving you an insight about life at abg thank you very much again anuj for your time today and i wish you all the best in your life thank you all thank you